deal, right? <laughs> darling, is the wind blowing today? I'd like to watch television, darling. Russia, please, if you can, get us Hillary Clinton's email. Let's be honest. Regardless of your political opinion, Donald Trump is unpredictable. So you might be asking, how do we do something like this? So we use something called an RNN. And an RNN is a recurrent neural network. Keyword, neural network. So if you don't know what a neural network is or want to know a little bit more information about this, I can recommend this video up in the description. You should check it out. It's a pretty comprehensive guide to convolutional neural networks. And also this video, which goes a little bit more in depth into how they work. So a neural network is split up into three basic parts. We have our input layer, our hidden layer, and our output layer. And it's usually feed forward, meaning that the inputs to the outputs are directly uh, connected in a feed forward manner. So what's a good analogy for an RNN? Well, simply a good analogy for an RNN is like a movie. So if we had, for example, a movie that you were watching and you saw the movie halfway through and you understand the context of the movie. So you understand what happened until now. So you're able to make certain assumptions or predictions on what's going to happen in the future. So let's say in a movie about a hero, he gets injured and there's some tragedy at the beginning. You can make a prediction that he might, based on previous knowledge, that he might succeed in the second half of the movie. That's just your prediction. So recurrent neural networks are kind of the same way. So we take a text. And to predict a word, we use previous inputs. Words is an indication of what the new predicted word is going to be. And that's how RNNs use previous knowledge, short-term and long-term memories, to be able to make those types of predictions. And that's why RNNs are awesome. Now that we've clearly explained RNNs, let's get right into the code, my favorite part. To start, we will import our file like so, and don't get too discouraged, it's not that complicated. I know some of you are not so experienced with uh, importing and reading files. We do it like so. And then we define and see what the length of our total characters are, and then create a mapping between our characters and our integers and our integers and our characters. So now to be able to process our data, we want to split up our data like we would any other data set. Like we would split our data validation and test, but this is a little bit different. We're trying to split the data in bite-sized chunks so that the model will be able to read it. So we do that like so, and then we turn our data into a Boolean array. So now my favorite part, we have to implement the RNN, and this is what the structure looks like. Number one, the LSTM layer. This will learn our sequence. Number two, the dense fully connected layer. We'll have an output neuron for every individual unique character. Number three, our softmax activation function will turn our outputs into probabilities, which is really important, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So this is what the first block of code looks like for the RNN. So we see as we defined our three layers. Number one, number two, number three. We'll need two helper functions. One, which defines the freedom our model has when generating text. So what is the range in which it can generate text in terms of the characters and the um, words that it's using. And number two, it'll help us generate text when we're actually training the model and see how the model is improving over time. And that's how we do step one and step two. So now we're finally going to train the model and do the following commands. And once we've done this, our last step is just to make this function called generate text, which will be able to generate our speech, so we'll run this function, take a good look, and we finally got our output. So then I took the output and put it into Grammarly so I could fix all the grammar mistakes, and here is the result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.